Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And this is the Spyderco Para 2 with the Warncuff blade shape, and here's the regular version. So, in this video, we are just going to talk about whether or not this blade shape is worth it. Because they made the Tonto version and then the Warncuff. Now, the Tonto version kind of makes sense because it's completely different than this blade shape. It's going to do work completely different, and there's going to be benefits to this knife above the Tonto and the Tonto above this knife. It kind of makes sense. But are there any benefits to either one of these? Because this still has a nice acute tip. So what are you getting out of this that you're not going to get out of this? Let's talk about it. So first off, I did use it, and I didn't get that much recordings of using it, but um, I did bring it to work, and I basically had like a couple pallets of boxes I had to open up, and I used it for that because I figured it'd be really good for that, and that was before sharpening it, and we'll talk about sharpening in a second, but I also used it for slicing and, you know, just regular cardboard breakdown and, and just regular use. I did, like I said, I didn't record everything, um, but... You know, through the utility use and stuff, you know, where this thing is going to shine because it's kind of like an extension to your finger or like a claw. You know, the way it's used, it is a utility task knife. It's a worn cliff. It has a straight edge and then, you know, a, um, a, a tapered spine down to the tip. And it is an S30V, you know, the, it's the same exact knife as the Para 2, which there's tons of videos on. So if you want to see a knife on the Para, or a video on the Para 2, there's so many of them. But with this one, though, is it any better having this blade shape versus this one? Now, I'm going to say yes and no. Okay, so let's go towards the yes first before we talk about sharpening it. So, yes... It does if you are specifically doing utility tasks. If that is all you want to do and you want the best utility cutter because that's the type of cutting you do, like opening up boxes, tracing things out, you know, making marks in a line and then cutting down the line. If you're doing those types of cuts all day and that's the main thing you need a knife for, then absolutely. Because you can see your cut a lot better than this one, even though this one's still good for utility cuts, but you have to lift up a little bit higher. With this, you can keep your hand down lower and kind of claw into the material and pull back. So you're going to get better leverage through utility cuts with this. Now, is it that much better? No, not really. You can get basically the same thing out of this. Not as good, but really close. But with this one, you have the belly for some slicing and you have the flat for push cuts, which you can slice with this. But seeing as how it doesn't have the belly, it doesn't really trap the materials. So you're pretty much stuck doing push cuts with it. Can you slice with it? Yes, you can. But it's it's not really where it shines. You're mostly pushing pushing through materials rather than slicing because with a belly the the grip pattern turns right here so the material is always basically getting pulled into teeth that are kind of like a spinning saw blade right the teeth are always going towards the object it's cutting so that's kind of where this is at why a belly can slice really good since this is straight it doesn't really have that. You know, you get to such a good point and then it's going to slip out. Unless if you trap it in there and force it through, which you can do. Of course you can. It's going to work really good for cutting. It's a good, good cutter. Great cutter. But is it much better than this? You know, not really. Um, like I said, if it's a specific task you're doing every day with your knife, even this knife will do utility cuts good all day. The... The drop point blade shape is amazing at utility cuts. So doing a worn cliff, you need to have like specific things like where you need to like get that claw in because unlike this one where the tip is up a little bit higher and when you go like this, you're hitting belly. Like say if you can picture me cutting into something right here, you know, and putting my tip in, I'm hitting, you know, tip and belly with this, I can actually claw it. You know, so with those types of cuts, um, it does work 
really good. I mean, even better than the, the, the regular blade shape. But you can still get by with this one, though. So, you know, like I said, it's not, it's kind of, you know, one of those things where it's not going to be that much better. But if you are looking for this blade shape, and let me, let me just be clear, though. I love this blade shape. I love Warren Cliffs. I think Warren Cliffs are great blade shapes. I but it's not that far off, you know, if you look at the tip, you know, it's not that much higher than it. So, you know, and you have the belly for here for slicing. Now, um, if you did want to get one of these, though, I'm pretty sure they're going to make more in another steel, probably, probably way more expensive in other colors and stuff like that. I don't know. That's for sure. But I know they didn't make very many of these. So and they are already sold out unless you get them on the secondary. Now, as like a defensive knife or something, this might work really good. You're going to be able to trap materials. You know, it's. You know, you can imagine, okay? It's going to be pretty decent. Now, this one, yeah, it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Maybe not as good, but still pretty good. Um, you're not going to be able to trap as good as with this, but still. Now, the blade steel, it did sharpen up really good. Just like all, well, not all, but most of any time I've um, sharpened up Spider Coast S30V, it always sharpens up really good. I did put a polish finish on there, and it came out beautiful. It came out stupid sharp, very, very sharp. I did it on my Veneve Diamond Stones, and it is very sticky, and it's a very, it's a gr good edge. It's good quality polished edge. So I'm very happy with the way it came out. When you do sharpen a blade shape like this that's nice and flat, you do have to keep that edge flat. Like, meaning on the stone, you don't want... Let me grab my strap. You don't want to, uh, like, um, how can I say? Since it's flat, it's perfectly flat. Like, it's there's no belly whatsoever. So, you have to keep this angle nice and flat. There's no, like, if I was sharpening this... See how I have that belly that comes off? So I'm going to have to, you know, pull up and get that belly. With this, you're going to stay perfectly flat. You're going to go straight back and forth. And if you come off the stone, you're going to keep it still flat right there. The same exact angle the whole time. So sometimes that can be tricky for some people. I know it was for me at one time. Uh, but, you know, just be careful and, you know, make sure... You hold your, your angle nice and level the whole time. Even if you have to come off the stone to get the tip, which you might have to, keep it nice and level. Now, this is going to be great for collectors because people that want to get all the, the spider codes or all the pair of two models or all the steels, all the blade shapes, this is going to be a must. It's going to be a must. And, you know, it is cool. And like I said, and there are some benefits where this is going to be better than this. So it is very cool. And you can get the scales. You can modify it. You can tune it up just like how this one has the deep carry clip on it. Mine doesn't, but either you like deep carry clip or not. To me, this one's not that bad, though, in all reality. It gives you something to pull out of your pocket. You know, it gives you a little bit. It is, you know, not real deep or anything. They did choose to put the lanyard tube on top, but you have something to pull out of your pocket. But the clip works really good, and it feels really good in the hand is what I kind of like. These ones, they're not as comfortable in the hand because it's, you know, it's pushing right there. But it's better than some. So I actually, I don't mind whether or not it has the deep carry clip or not. Both of them work out pretty good. I think the deep carry clip looks better. I'll say that. Now, taking it apart, if you are going to modify it or anything like that, you do have to be careful with this lanyard tube. It can be a little finicky. You know, you um, it's really tight. They do have a, a tool to help with that if you ever want to. If you're taking apart a lot of spider cores, you should probably have that tube uh, pusher where it basically pushes the tube out because it's you can get everything out and that tube is it's going to fight you. Um, but... I never really had that big of an issue with it. You just kind of work it back and forth and eventually it comes off. But all in all, I, I'm happy I got to check it out because I was wanting to check out the Tonto and I never got a chance. Um, I think the action is still really good. You, you know, it has basically the same kind of action, 
This one's detent is a little bit stronger, maybe because it's newer. Like I said, a little bit of lock stick, but and the detent is really nice, but very smooth. It is very solid from all directions. And the blade fits in there really good. It might, and it's close enough to centered. But the leverage, because it's just the same pretty much, it, when it's closed, it's almost identical. This pops out just a little bit more. But you get the same amount of leverage on the hole, which is really good. You know, these are one of the best knives to reverse flick and thumb flick if you're going to be using a hole. So... Very nice action still. And all those, you know, ideas, it's the same. The only difference is going to be is that blade shape when cutting. And for the most part, they work very similar. This one's going to slice a little bit better. And this one's going to do utility cuts a little bit better. And in a lot of situations, if that's what you're doing a lot of, then yes, this is going to work a lot better. Like I said, opening stuff up, this thing works like a dream because you can really see that tip and you don't have to go up like this where your finger's kind of blocking your vision. You can go like this. You know, with this, you can do that too, but you're kind of, you know, even there, I'm still rubbing the belly a little bit. So, you guys know what I mean. But yeah, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.